All right, we're gonna talk about cross object formulas in Salesforce. That's basically a formula field where you get data from one object onto another object. So for example, here I'm on a contact record and I can get data from the account and put it onto the contact record. So we've got you know a name field, a type field, the number of employees. I could take any of these fields and get them into a formula on Wes's record. So how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna go into setup and I'm gonna to go to the object manager for this object. In my case, it's contacts. Now, if you went in to set up some other way, you could just click into the object manager, search for the object you're gonna use and find it in the list. But one way or the other, get to the object manager and get to the object you want to create the formula on. And you're just gonna create a new custom field. And we're gonna create a formula field. And you can give it a name and you can pick what type of formula you want. In my case, I'm gonna pick a text-based formula. Now, this is really where all the magic happens. This is the formula editor. Now, I want you to use the advanced formula tab. So it, when, if your formula page loads and you see that you're in the simple formula, make sure you click into the advanced formula tab, okay? It's just easier to use here. And really, this is where you build your formula. You could just start typing in things and math and putting in numbers. Uh, you can use functions on the right. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do, but that's not the point of this video. We're here to talk about how to get data from one object onto the other. So I'm gonna click on insert field, and this is where you can really get a bunch of data into your formula. You can get things from a profile or from the organization level, uh, but you'll notice your object name at the top there. So I, I'm creating a formula on, on contacts. So I've got my contact there. And these are all the fields available to me from the contact record itself. So I could, for example, get the first name of the contact. All right, well, this isn't cross object. That's just the same object. So let's go back into the insert field. Now, you notice that little caret there? If you actually scroll down, you'll see that there's a few carrots. Now I'll have different fields and different relationships in my demo than you have in yours, but if you click onto the fields you see with the carrot, that indicates a relationship. So I'm going from the contact to the account and now I can get, let's say, the account name and have that in my formula. All right, so now I've got data from the account, putting that into the contact, I check my syntax. Obviously your formula could have been far more complex. Um, and I just click next here. And in this case, I'm just gonna quickly assign perms and get the field on the page. And if I refresh, you'll now see that on the contact record, I have a formula where I'm showing the account name. There's the green fields media and it's showing the account name. And these formulas really do update uh, in real time. So if I were to go in and have someone change uh, the name of the account, the next time we go back to the contact record and we refresh the page, we're gonna see that the name is just reflected in the formula. Formulas don't copy paste information as much as calculate the value in real time when you look at it. All right, so I'm gonna go back into my, con uh, into my formula field and we're just gonna edit it real quickly. And we're gonna go back into this uh, insert field section here. Now, what you saw me do was just go from the contact to the account, okay? But I can also go from the account and continue to go up to another relationship. So here I'm going from the contact to the account to the account owner. So let's say what kind of sales rep is the owner of this account. Or I could even go to the parent account for this account. So you can keep kind of going through these different levels, always looking for that little carrot that indicates it's a relationship. And that's how you can go from one object up to the other. You can actually go 10 uh, relationships deep or 10 relationships apart from this record. Now, uh, if you notice, when you look at a lookup field, this is an example lookup field, this account name, okay? Uh, I'll put in the name of the account I want. It looks like the name of my account is in that field, but that's not really what gets stored in the lookup field. Lookup fields don't really store names. They, stole, they store record IDs. So if you notice here at the top, that is the ID for this account. 
So when you're actually looking at that account name in a lookup field, we, we really don't store the name at the database level. We store the ID of the record you're trying to relate to. So when you look in your uh, formula builder, you'll actually see that a lot of the fields that have these carrots also have an associated just ID field. So if you want to grab the actual ID of the record that this record is related to, you can do that. That's actually what the lookup field is storing. Or you can have Salesforce just use that relationship and you can keep going up and up and up to get more and more parent data. Now something to keep in mind is that the formulas go up from one record to the parent record. They don't go down to child record. So you can't use a formula to go from the contact to one of the related cases or one of the related assets. The formula can't really tell which one of the one out of 10 or one out of 50 related records to go to. Um, but it can tell exactly which record to go up to because it's using the lookup field. So when it comes to formulas, the key word you're looking for here is cross object formulas. Uh, they can go from a child object up to the parent object, but they can't go from a child object let's say down to a grandchild object. And if you enjoyed this video, you should know I do a live webinar every Tuesday and Thursday where you can come and learn something about Salesforce and ask me questions live. Hope to see you there.